Welcome to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch and would like to purchase it at the lowest price anywhere online, click on the link in the description below to buy it at JazzTime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Day Date 40 in Platinum Reference 228206 with this bright blue Roman dial. I'm going to talk to you about the bezel dial case bracelet movement, give you a little history, a little bit of comparison, and then try it on and give you my thoughts. So let's start. This is the Rolex Day Date 40. Now Rolex makes their Day Dates, also known as Presidents, in either 36 millimeter or 40 millimeter, which is what you see here. So basically small and large. Now the 36 millimeter can be worn by a woman or a man who likes to wear smaller watches or has a smaller wrist. Now for the Day Date has been around for something like 60 years or something like that, and it was originally made in size 36 and it has stayed size 36 millimeter for the better part of like 50 something years it was only about 15 years ago that rolex changed the day date to be size 40 it actually was 41 and then it became 40. so rolex made uh, their large day date not that long ago about 15 years ago as i just said now, the Day Day 40 is pretty much exclusively for men. For women, they're going to be wearing size 36. So, what kind of person or what kind of man can wear a Day Day 40? It, it's going to be a man with a wrist size, I want to say approximately 7 inches or larger. And that equates to roughly 150 pounds or greater. Now, if you're 150 pounds or greater and your wrist size is 7 inches, you, you probably should wear a Day Day 40. And if you're smaller than that, well, that's okay because Rolex also makes a smaller watch, which is the Day Date 36, and you could also wear that one. Okay. Now, the Day Date has gone through many different uh, variations. First, it started at 41 back in 2005, and that was too big, so they changed it in 2018 approximately to this Day Date 40, which is a little bit slimmer and one millimeter smaller. And when they first, when Rolex first came out with this Platinum Day Date, they only made it in a domed bezel, which is what you see here. Now, for whatever reason, they did not have the platinum bezel with a fluted bezel. I'm not so sure why. Maybe it's they couldn't figure out how to do it, or they just didn't want to do it because they wanted to separate the platinum. For whatever reason, nobody knows except Rolex, and you can only speculate. And so, but they didn't do it. They only made the platinum with a dome bezel and Interestingly enough, they ca Rolex came out with the, the fluted bezel with platinum and they did away with the dome bezel and platinum. So what does that mean? At least as of 23, they might bring it back later, who knows? But at least as of 23, 2023, you can only get the domed bezel platinum detone or platinum president at jazztime.com. Because it's discontinued and you can no longer go into your authorized dealer and get it. So therefore you have to get it from jazztime.com, which is why we're making this video. So you can click on the link in the description below to buy it. Okay. That's the history of this day date 40 and how, how this configuration came to be. Now let's talk about the watch itself. It's 40 millimeters from my thumb to my index finger. That's the eight o'clock to the two o'clock position. The longest distance across the bezel, the diameter of the bezel that is 40 millimeters. That should be of no surprise. And it is made of platinum. Now, Rolex has its own gold foundries, or in this case, will be platinum foundries, where which they mix their own precious metal, which is not a really big surprise. It's kind of like saying a chocolate factory uh, produces its own chocolate, which is not really that surprising. But what is a little bit more surprising is the way that they do it, in that they make they ensure that the platinum is uh has the perfect mix of di uh, they use different uh, uh materials in the platinum it's not a hard 100 percent platinum a a rolex uses 950 platinum which is an alloy consisting of uh 990 950 percent i'm not sure how you have 950 percent 950 thousandths i'm not sure exactly what that means it probably means most of it is platinum but that means that there are other metals in this platinum to to make it whatever it is and they do that to make sure that 
the platinum is uh, in exceptional quality, has a exceptional corrosion resistance, and it's the best platinum available on this planet. And Rolex, of course, uh, does that with actually all their precious metals. Their rose gold, their yellow gold, their white gold, and their platinum, of course, which is no surprise. Okay. But basically, platinum is the densest, heaviest. So it's a heavy watch. But, you know, the person who's wearing this probably, I would think, isn't going to mind too much, considering that, you know, the watch looks how beautiful it does. So a little bit of heft is okay. All right. And plus, the, whoever's wearing this must be the president, right? President of whatever. So if you want a lighter watch, you should buy the manager watch. No, just kidding. Okay. So at any rate, it's a 40 millimeter is made of platinum. The case is made of platinum. Actually, the entire watch is made of platinum. Uh, so let's talk about the bezel next. And I just told you the bezel is on this watch, a dome bezel. The old be or the current bezel that Rolex is making is a fluted bezel. The dome bezel is the old, is a, I don't want to call it old school, but it, it's no longer being produced. Now, what are the benefits of having a domed bezel as opposed to a fluted? Well, one, the dome bezel does not, uh, uh, dent as easily and doesn't wear down as easily either over time a fluted bezel gets a little bit rounded i've seen it happen to other watches uh, even on the day dates if you wear it you know for 10 plus years the dome bezel starts to wear down a little bit whereas the dome bezel doesn't okay it, it will because it's already flattened and also the the fluted bezel kind of makes the watch a little bit look like a um a day just in, in fact, some ways you could say that, that it's just a precious metal version of the day chest. Okay. In that way you can say it because it basically looks just like a day chest, except that it has one more complication. It has a different bracelet and it's made of precious metal, but they have to distinguish it somehow, right? They're charging like, I don't know, you know, quadruple four times, five times the price of a day chest. So they got to do something different about it. Okay. But at any rate, uh, this is the bezel It's domed. They also make it in a diamond bezel and a fluted bezel. And so you can have your choice of whichever one you want. The dome bezel is much more subdued. Doesn't it's not so flashy and doesn't draw as much attention. But of course, it's still equally beautiful. Okay. Now let's move on to the dial. Now the dial is a bright. Rolex calls it a bright blue. But the years before, they just called it blue. So I don't know. Bright blue, blue. It doesn't really matter. The point here is that it is blue. It has Roman numerals instead of index markers. Rolex is making many different dial configurations, such as green, dark blue. They also make a light blue, which is a sky blue or ice blue, Tiffany blue, not a Tiffany blue, but an ice blue. They're making different, and they also make it in gray, black, white, a bunch of different variations. So you can have whatever dial configuration that you want. And if they don't have it, if you can't get it at your AD, well, you can always go to jazzdime.com or you probably can go to jazzdime.com anyway, so you can get it at a discount or you can get it where your authorized dealer cannot. Okay. Now I just want to say a little bit about the dial since we're talking about it is that it has, uh, uh some special things, uh, with regard to it. it. The dial is obtained by using masterful brushing techniques that create grooves running outward from the center of the dial, which gives it this sun ray look, which means if you turn it in different directions, it will look different in different light. Okay. And the sun ray finish is completed by using a physical vapor deposition or electroplating and a light coat of varnish gives the dial its final look. So basically it takes a lot of work to make this dial. It looks absolutely beautiful, has a sunray finish. And if you look at the hour markers themselves, those are, uh, I believe fashioned in white gold or platinum. I'm not sure. Let me take a look at their website here, but one of those things, let's see, it doesn't really say, but I know it's made in precious metal, probably platinum. I would think to match the rest of the look. But anyways, if you look at the hour markers done, they have a very nice finish to them. Okay. Now let's, let's move on to the movement here. The movement is a 3255 caliber movement. It was upgraded from the older movement, which was a 31555, but it doesn't really matter as in you can't see it anyways. The difference being is a little bit more precise at plus minus two seconds a day. And it has a large, longer power reserve of 70 hours as opposed to the old, older 40 hours. And Rolex is really upping their game. I think they're probably following suit to Audemars Piguet, which changed all their movements back in 2018 from the older movements, which had power reserve of approximately 40, 50 hours to now 70 hours, increasing it by almost 50%. And that is a pretty big jump because a power reserve is an indication of how efficient the, the movement is. The longer the power reserve, the more efficient the watch is. 
uh, with all things being equal, considering it has one barrel versus two, etc. Okay, so if you have a longer power reserve, it means that these pieces are working in harmoniously together with one another to produce time and or to ref to count time, and it's doing so in a very efficient manner, such that it can last up to seventy hours. So I think other brands are going to follow suit. You heard it here first. I bet you Patek Philippe, the next big watchmaker, Rolex, Patek, and Audemars, which are th I believe are the three best and biggest, baddest watchmakers. Patek Philippe is the one that is behind right now. And I think they're going to come up. Uh, they're going to up their game very soon as a result of their other two competitors, Rolex and AP, really stepping up their game and getting 70 hour power reserves. Okay, so th let's move on to the bracelet here. The bracelet is a president bracelet. Now the day day only comes on a president bracelet in size 40. Now on size 36, they used to come on oyster and president. They've got rid of the oyster. So pretty much it only comes on president bracelet. And, uh, and you know, the president bracelet is an iconic bracelet. It's only on the precious metal day dates, which rightfully so. That distinguishes the watch. It makes it look different. It makes people understand that, hey, this watch is a president. It's not the manager and it's not the secretary. It's the president watch, the top of the line for Rolex. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and try this watch on. Uh, I'm six foot tall, 200 pounds. I have a 7.5 inch wrist. And as I said at the very beginning, I think those who have a, a seven inch wrist or larger can wear a 40 millimeter. Mine is a little bit bigger. So as you can see, it looks perfect on my wrist. And you, you know, uh, why would I want to buy this? Or why would you want to buy this rather? Okay. I'll make the case for it. Well, I like platinum one because it's a precious metal. Now you might say to yourself, well, it looks just like steel. Yes, it does look like steel, but, uh, it's not steel. That's first. And just cause something looks like it. Well, you know, you could say the same thing about yellow gold. You can say, well, yellow gold looks like brass. Okay. In some ways it does, you know, um, but so what it's not brass. So, you know, so what's the, what's the point here? Yeah. Platinum, you know, what, because stainless steel is, is, is silver and this one's silver. Okay. Fair enough, but it's not. And you know, you could say the same thing about many things, but it, in this material, platinum is the most expensive of all the materials that you can use to make watches. Yellow gold, rose gold, and gold is, uh, is also very expensive, but it's not quite as expensive as platinum. Platinum is almost as around double the price actually than, uh, gold. So it's a much, it's first of all, it's a much more rare. Uh, material and second of all it's a much harder material and it's also uh when i say hard material it's it doesn't scratch as easily as you know, as gold gold is much, much softer so it's denser and it's a little bit harder and it's more rare so you 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 have the material that is uh you know the best in the world so for that reason i really like platinum watches now for the dome bezel part I like that the dome bezel is, it's a little bit undercover. It's not a fluted bezel that is so obvious to people. And, and for that reason, I, I really give this watch a thumbs up. And I want to say blue for men, blue is probably the best color you can get. It's the best color. Why? Because it really matches a lot of things and it's a, it's a man's color. Now the ice blue is good, good too, but you know, you don't match a lot of things with ice blue. You know, that's a pastel color. You have to wear pink, white, you know, light colors. A uh, light color watch doesn't really match your dark color clothing. Okay, so anyways, I like this watch. If you'd like to buy it, click on the link in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com, you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. 
If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.